Russia needs highly skilled workers in some fields. They grant eligible applicants the highly skilled specialist visa to fill the gaps. The application process is easier than the work visa and it will be issued sooner. Watch this video till the end to learn all about it. Hey everyone, I am Behnam from the Visa Library. This channel gives visa information and the latest news and updates. First things first, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and download the free cheat sheet my team has prepared from the link in the description. You should also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest visa news and updates. Now, let's begin. For the first step, let's answer this question. Who is qualified for a Russia Highly Skilled Specialist Visa? There are eligibility principles with this visa and you have to fulfill them. Here are the qualification requirements. If you wish to move to Russia as a highly skilled specialist, you must have the required qualifications. Russian authorities have specified the qualifications you must meet according to the position you are offered in Russia. The qualifications include education and work experience. Here is a sample of the eligibility. If you are a director, a general director or a manager director, you need higher education and at least 5 years of work experience in senior or management positions in trade. If you are a deputy finance director or a finance director, you need higher education in economics and at least five years of work experience in finance and accounting. If you are a deputy commercial director, you need higher education and at least five years of work experience in senior or management position. In case you are a deputy HR director, you need higher education and at least five years of work experience in HR senior or management and other HR positions. As you can see, you need higher education certificate and at least five years of work experience to qualify for the visa. There is another requirement with a highly skilled specialist visa and its salary requirement. The Russian authorities have set a minimum salary bench for those wishing to work in Russia as a highly skilled people. The monthly salary should be at least 167,000 ruble per month or 2 million ruble per year. The offered salary by the Russian employer must meet high and meet the required payment. You can visit the visa library article from the link in the description to get familiar with the sample of the required salary. Alright then, now that you know about the eligibility principles, how should you apply for Russia highly skilled specialist visa? Stay a bit longer to find out. You pick the destination and we've done all the research for you. The first step is to find a job offer from a Russian employer. The position must meet the eligibility principles I explained a bit earlier. Remember that you must have enough work experience and education requirements to work in the position. The Russian authorities check your background to ensure you're a highly skilled worker. Are you wondering how to find a job in Russia? There are various ways to do it. You can find a job position through the websites that advertise job positions in Russia. Are you wondering where to find these websites? You can get a list of them from the Visa Library article. The link is in the description. You can arrange employment with recruitment agencies as well. Also, you can move to Russia and look for a job position yourself. If you need a visa to enter Russia, watch the Russia tourist visa video we have prepared on our channel. The choices are yours to find the position, but getting a job offer is a must. After finding a job, you must sign a contract with the Russian employer or company. You have to include all the terms of employment in the contract. Then, the Russian company or employer must continue the process. The employer must apply for a work permit. It's the authorization from the government that the foreign person can work in Russia. The Russian employing company must submit these documents to the Russian Migration Police of Moscow. 1. Application for hiring a highly qualified specialist. 2. Written obligation to pay the costs of the Russian Federation related to possible deportation of the employed highly skilled specialist from Russia. 3. Notarized copies of TIN or KPP and certificate of the main state registration number or an extract from the state register of accredited branches of the foreign legal entities if the employing company is a foreign legal entity. 4. Confirming of payment of the estate fee of 3,500 rubles per person. 5. Colored photo of the highly qualified specialist 3 by 4 cm on the matte paper. 6. Notarized translated passport copy of highly qualified specialist. 7. A work contract with the employed highly qualified specialist uh, enters into force when the specialist receives the work permit. The employment contract must contain these data to be accepted by the Russian authorities. Labor contract date, an indication of the contract to be concluded for an indefinite period, position of the employed highly qualified specialist, 
a monthly salary in rubles, information and provided health insurance. It takes about 16 working days, so the Russian Migration Police in Moscow to complete the application and decide on it. They must agree and issue the work permit so the foreign specialist can move to Russia. The employer also has to apply for the visa invitation as well. To get the visa invitation for a highly qualified specialist, the employer has to submit these documents to the Russian Migration Police in Moscow. An application on issuing invitation, letter of guarantee, copy of document proving the documents to process the work permit has been accepted, passport copy of foreign employer, copy of labor contract, confirmation of a state fee payment, 800 rubles. The employer has to take an interview with the Russian authorities as well. After the work permit and visa invitation has been issued, the skilled foreign worker can apply for a work visa. The Russian employer must send the visa invitation to the skilled worker. At this stage, you as the skilled worker have to gather the supporting documents. Here is a list of documents you have to gather. Number one is the visa invitation. Only invitations by the Ministry of Interior are accepted for a highly skilled specialist visa. Submit the visa invitation in original paper or electronic form. Your Russian employer is responsible for getting this invitation and sending it to you as I explained. Number two is a letter of an employer. You should submit a letter written and signed by your employer in Russia. It should give full details on their company, organization, and your job position. Number three is HIV test certificate. This test must be taken within the last three months before application. It should still be valid for 15 to 30 days on the day of your application. Number four is health insurance policy document. This requirement is only for citizens of EU countries, Iran, Iceland, Israel, Liechtenstein, Monaco, Norway, and Switzerland. The document must be issued by a foreign insurance company or a Russian insurance company and contain your full name, the date when the agreement was signed, the policy number, and full details of the insurance. The geographical coverage area of the insurance must be stated. It must include Russia. The dates of the validity. Remember that the insurance policy must cover the entire period of stay in Russia for a single entry and double entry visa. For multiple entry visa, it must cover the duration of the first trip. The next requirement is a detailed autobiography in the Russian language. This is only required for Australian citizens. This was a list of supporting documents, but the Russian embassy in your home country might ask for further supporting documents. It's up to your nationality and their decision. You would better contact them and ask if they have a checklist of documents for you or not. If not, whether they require further documents. Then you have to schedule a meeting with the Russian embassy, consulate or visa center responsible for visa processing in your home country. Visit them in person and do not forget to bring the do documents you have gathered. Submit the documents to the visa officers and if they ask questions, answer them correctly and truly. Russians are strict and serious. They mustn't doubt the purpose of your visit and intentions. There is also a fee for visa processing that you have to pay with the embassy. Ask the embassy how much it costs and how you have to pay. Then you have to wait for visa processing. After your visa is issued, the embassy informs you to get it and move to Russia. Now you can move to the country and begin your work. Your visa is valid for about three years and you can extend it if you want to stay in Russia, but you must qualify for it. All right then, this was all you must know about Russia Highly Skilled Specialist Visa. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. My team at the Visa Library will answer them. Before you leave, like this video, hit the bell, and don't forget to download the free PDF file that my team has prepared from the description. You should also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to get the latest visa news and updates. Until the next video, thank you all for watching.